In this video, we're going to look at connecting Google BigQuery to Google Sheets. In a normal ad hoc reporting workflow, you may have to run SQL scripts for your end users, take that data into something like Google Sheets, and then let them do pivot tables or whatever they like on top of that. With this connection, you don't have to do anything because you can just provide the users with the base script and then they can use their own parameters without having to know SQL to pull the data out into a Google Sheets spreadsheet. And then they can do things on top of that like build pivot tables so they can automatically run the query they want every time. All they have to do is refresh the data. So without further ado, let's get into it and let's show you how to connect Google BigQuery to Google Sheets to automate reporting. Let's start out in BigQuery. We're taking the Iowa Liquor data set and we're going to look at one company's data. And this is the store data in the Iowa Liquor data set for one month and one year. Now that we've got our query, we can copy and paste this into our Google Sheets. In Sheets, we'll first go to Data, then down to Data Connectors, and then connect to BigQuery. Whatever BigQuery you're signed into, you'll see your projects here. Select a project, and then you can either pick a table or write a custom query. And in this custom query, we'll just copy and paste exactly as we've queried in BigQuery and connect to the data. And you'll see that this sheet is now connected to the data. And we can do some things from this sheet, but really we're just gonna use this as an engine to drive our pivot table. So what we can do is we can look at the column stats of any column. This gives us lots of exploratory data analysis, and we can do this on large tables as well. We can take different graphs out of this. We can pull data straight out into another sheet, but that's not what I'm gonna do for this tutorial. What we're gonna do instead is we're going to first create a calculated column in which I'm going to get the profit of each uh, transaction. So I'm looking at the profit um, and I'm going to do this by doing a calculated column. And this is much easier than having an end user have to query this from BigQuery. So I'm going to do a sales in dollars minus the cost of the bottles multiplied by the bottle sold. I'm going to add that and every thing you do in here, you have to click apply. So I'm going to click apply and then you'll see the profit has now been calculated for each line. And you can do this for huge data sets as well in here. So I'm gonna take a pivot table from this and I'm gonna create a pivot table for my end user. For this, I'm gonna analyze the profit per item description. So I'm gonna take the item, which is the liquor, and then I'm gonna take that liquor's vendor as well. And then I'm going to look at the profit column I've just created. I'm gonna sort all this descending on profit and then I just click apply, and this has created my pivot table. So this is, is kind of a, a static version of this reporting. I'm just gonna clean things up a little here, but as you, as you can see, this is very static, right? You have to come in and build this for an end user. Where this implementation gets very useful is that we can create parameters, and then parameters can go on to the SQL script itself. So the end user, all they have to do is put in parameters and they don't need to know how to code. So I'm gonna put in parameter name here and I'm gonna put a parameter value in here in the columns. And I'm just gonna put in values for this. And these are just the default values. And the beauty of this is that a user can come in and change these values whenever they want. They can then refresh the query and then the query essentially for them is dynamic. This is like them running a report in a transaction system. So I'm gonna change the year and date here. I'm gonna go back to my connected sheet. I'm gonna press the three dots here and I'm gonna to go to connection settings. In connection settings, where I have manually put in the year and date, I'm now gonna insert a parameter. So I'm gonna click on parameters, I'm gonna select add, and then I'm gonna name these parameters. So you need to name the parameter and then select where you want the parameter to come from in the sheets. So I'm gonna connect that to my year, and this will come out down the end, so you need to copy and paste this back up to where you want the parameter. So this is an at symbol plus parameter name, and I'm gonna replace my 2022 with that parameter. And then finally, I'm gonna input a parameter for a month in the same way. So I'm gonna call this month, I'm gonna point this to the month in my parameter sheet, and then I'm gonna stick this in and get rid of the static parameter in here. So if this is correct, you'll get a green tick and you just click connect. And you'll see here that when it's connected, it's gonna refresh my data here and also refresh my pivot table. And how I would recommend doing this for the end user is to kind of get rid of the connected sheet altogether. 
just showing here another option of year and month and showing that you can refresh the pivot table without even touching the connected sheet. So that's just refreshed it to another month here. We can then kind of hide this connected sheet altogether if we want to implement it for a user. We can then change the parameters again so they don't even see that there's a connected sheet there. And you can just get them to press refresh and the parameters will be refreshed. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Analytics with Adam for more business analytics tips and tricks.